The weather here in New Brunswick is crazy. <laughs> you look behind me, it is, the weather has, the temperature's warmed up, which is really nice, but that means that everything is thawing, which is a little bit of an issue when it's gonna go down to minus craziness uh, in the next day or so, and it's, there's gonna be another 50 centimeters of snow. So right now our driveway has kind of turned into a bit of a pond, and uh, I'm not, I'm a little scared as to what's gonna happen when it all freezes. Um, but this week, we have made a few small steps in the right direction towards the opening day of our Thirsty Whippet pub. And I know that's something that we're all looking forward to. And um, so I'm gonna share with you what we've been up to in terms of getting us to that next step. And we have found another treasure this week, which is also very exciting. So let me uh, show you what we've been up to. There are so many pieces that have to come together for us to be able to open the Thirsty Whippet pub. And uh, uh, this week I have been working on my plans for my fire equipment. Now, um, you can see I've been scribbling all over these plans as I've been working through that manner, um, looking at where we're gonna put all the equipment. And uh, to be honest with you, it was something that was a real challenge because we want it to be safe. We want obviously to have all the equipment we need, but you know, you look at this kind of fire pole, it's not, you know, the most pretty, um, and it's not very vintage looking, so how do I ensure that we have these in place, but, you know, not compromise the character and the charm of the house? And, you know, the biggest challenge we have is that back in the 1800s, they didn't build properties like this to code fire code as of today. So it's really that challenge, and I'm sure anyone who's been restoring an old home, um, and especially a commercial side, you know, if you have an old property, that balance of trying to get your the modern component and the equipment that you have to have into a old building, first of all, um, I mean, just in the fact of, you know, all these pieces I have on my plan, there has to be a wire that goes to all of them. You know, obviously they all have to be wired to the mains. They're all smoke, heat detectors, emergency lighting. Um, and so how do we get all those wires through the house without damaging too much? Uh, so there's always this kind of fine balance of how we incorporate the new but keep the old. And so it's been a real challenge to look at the property in, in a way that obviously makes it safe and allows us to open because obviously we're working with you know the building inspector, the fire, uh, the fire marshal's office, uh, health and safety, the liquor license, all those components um, we're putting in place. So putting all those jigsaw pieces together and you know one of my things was uh, I was like oh my goodness all these fire horns we have to have and the emergency lighting and it's just gonna it's gonna just take away and so when I got this box, and in this box is the horns that we have to put in. I was like, well, that's a really small box. And it turns out they look like this, which is fantastic. So this is actually a horn that will go into the wall or the ceiling, and obviously is part of the fire alarm. But obviously when you have something like this, we can really put these in and almost disguise them. So they're in the right place and they're safe. Um, but it doesn't actually compromise too much of the character of the house. So, so this has been, um, that was good news for me. I was very happy when I saw those. So I've just been, I feel, I feel like I've spent most of the week in, at my desk working through all the different plans. Hi Hendrix. Uh, Hendrix has come to say hi. Um, and uh, we are working really, really hard to get the pub open as quickly as possible because I know everyone is waiting and trust me, we are too. So this week, we bought Jackson a new jacket, and uh, he looks very, very GQ in his new jacket. In fact, he really, really loves it. Uh, he's been feeling a little bit cold. Put it on, Jackson. Yeah? Oh, good boy. Can you stand up? Stand <laughs> up. And uh, show everyone your jacket, okay? But he, he's looking very, very GQ with his little collar here that, uh, and uh, it's reversible just in case he needs to wear it two different ways. But uh, yeah, he's now all warm and snuggly for the rest of the winter. So an exciting box arrived today. Uh, if you remember oh, quite a while ago, I showed you the image that we're gonna be using for our Thirsty Whippet Pup. 
and it's of Hendrix, our Whippet, and uh, he's dressed in his military outfit, and uh, it says the Thirsty Whippet, and that's going to be our pub sign. And uh, we're having it printed, and then we're going to frame it onto a wood frame, and it's actually going to hang outside uh, the front of the pub. And we'd been looking for something to hang it on. So this box just came, and I'm really excited because it's actually the piece that is going to hold our pub sign. And they're actually, look at this. I think this is fabulous. So we've actually, oh, I guess it goes this way. <laughs> um, so this is going to go outside on uh, the front by the porch at the end by the pub and then it will have the uh, sign hanging from it and it's you know cast iron it's heavy so it's got that really kind of old vintage feel to it uh, and uh, we actually replicated it in this picture just so we could see what it would look like um, so this is actually the the uh, hanger but I think it's gonna look fantastic. So I'm very, very excited because it's all these little pieces that take us one step closer. And you know, obviously we're working on a lot of the logistical and the um, regulation and the legal side of the pub, um, but this is the fun stuff, you know? So seeing this in person and, and imagining the sign um, up is really really exciting so uh, we have the hangers the next step now is to get the actual sign printed so we're going to be uh, doing that soon so that we can get it uh, ready to hang so uh, it's all ready for that day when we open the doors uh, but until now I'll just have to look at this and, and imagine but uh, it's again like I say one step closer and uh, I am so excited that one day I'm going to be able to sit here and actually give you an opening date when you can come and visit us. Uh, but in the meantime, I will give you, you're going to get to see kind of the behind the scenes of us putting it all together. Uh, because we'll show you that as we kind of go along. Uh, so you'll see all the different steps as we put all the pub together ready for opening day. So this week we found another treasure and it's this piece of, obviously it was an old crate. We found it actually up in the attic, uh, and uh, the one thing, it's got this writing, which I'm actually, I'm, I'm struggling to figure out what it says, but uh, what I can see is this label, which I love these old labels, uh, and it's Thomas B. Buxton, and it says, groceries, tea, sugar, tobacco, wine, spirits, cordials, etc. 25 Dock Street in St. John. And so obviously was uh, someone's crate that they uh, ordered some stuff in and it's been delivered here from St. John. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess I love it. So it's gonna be added to our collection of curiosities. And again, just like with all our other treasures, it makes me wonder who ordered and what was in the crate. So when they ordered it from um, Thomas B. Buxton, what did they order and uh, what arrived in this crate? But I'll uh, have to imagine what I think it will be, or what it was. Um, but for now, I'll add this to our collection. So stay tuned on updates on when our Thirsty Whippet pub is gonna open. We are working as hard and as fast as we can to get it open for you, and uh, you will be the first to know. I will uh, announce it here before we tell anyone else. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, I'm gonna get back to work because I've got a lot of work to do to get that date and the doors open. So I'm gonna get back to work and I'll see you back here next week on our next episode of the Ladysmith Manor Diaries.